Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, simple, super simple, quick video. Little remote control here. Now a lot of you guys saw this uh, little remote unit in a previous video where I was making e-matches and quite a few of you were asking about it and you know how to make it, blah blah blah. So what I have put together is a super simple little circuit using one of these three dollars three dollars uh, three dollar relays off like Banggood, AliExpress they're all the same. They're little programmable relays so I have this one set up as a momentary switch and you can see when we give it power you got a little power light. Turn that one off. And as soon as I hit the button, we get 9 volts at the output here. And it's super simple circuit. We're just using the relay as basically a, a switch to control the input. Now the only issue is that because 9 volts are inherently low drain batteries, that when you have an E-match across these wires, it oscillates. And I did try throwing a, a capacitor across the input just to try to give it a little more juice, but it still has the same effect. Or wire strippers. When I have one laying <laughs> right on the bench. Nice. Well done. Now the, the big reason I made this is if any of you guys are following the rocketry series at home, you know, using traditional fuses can be reasonably dangerous, uh, especially if they're, they're not high quality fuses or especially if they're homemade fuses. They can be really dangerous and really unpredictable. The nice thing about using electronic ignition, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You know exactly when it's going to go off and it's completely controlled. So I've got the little E-match here and the little circuit and there we go worked like a charm it didn't even oscillate that time which is great this is a fresh 9 volt so it might have a little more juice than the uh, the old crappy one I was using now the big drawback to this little homemade job as opposed to the professional unit this one has a lead test so it actually checks for continuity on your e-matches you break out the aura wire strippers again so the really nice thing about this unit is when you plug in an E-match, it tells you that it's a continuous circuit. So it lets you know, yeah, this is a good E-match, it's going to work. And when you put it to fire, and of course, yeah, my remote doesn't have a battery in it, so I can't demonstrate this one. But, take my word for it. This, this is a much nicer unit. It also has a much longer range. This thing isn't going to have a very good range. You might get maybe 100 feet out of it, something like that. Nothing too impressive, but enough to get a good margin of safety so you don't, you know, take a rocket to the face. <laughs> Not in that way. <laughs> We're talking high-speed metal flying at your face. No divertido. So anyway... This is the circuit. Basically, you have your, your five inputs, well, two inputs, three outputs for this little relay unit. So the positive jumps to the in from the battery, obviously. It goes to the in plus, and then it also jumps over to the com. And then from the NO, we output our positive wire to, to the E-match. Our negative just goes to the in minus, and then also jumps out to the other side of the igniter. That is literally as simple as it gets, and reliable, it works, it's safe. In my opinion, much safer than using traditional, uh, like, vis Visco fuse is good, but if you're using, like, Chinese paper fuse or something of that nature, or you get fuse of an unknown grade, you, you just don't know. Of course, always test your fuses for burn rate before ever using them in any sort of rocket or pyrotechnic composition. You want to keep your fingers. Somehow, I've managed to keep all these. <laughs> they might not be the prettiest, but they're still there. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a great one.